Today we are playing Lobo. We post this deck as a real simple deck. It's five suits numbered one through ten. Uh, there is an eleventh card in there because you can also play all the Vines games with this deck. That's another five suited deck with eleven ranks per suit. Lobo is a solitaire game. It's one of a very small number of solitaire games I've made so far, but I'm liking it and I might just do more. This is the basic arrangement. There is a wolf hand. The Lobo is the wolf's hand up here. This is my hand down here, and I'm trying to erase the wolf's hand by the cards that I play. Um, I can't always do that, and so if I can't get rid of all of the wolf's cards, I just want to reduce his score as low as I can. Uh, if I beat the wolf, then I get to score my own cards instead. And so I keep a running score. Whichever one of us, the wolf or myself, gets to 100 points first is the winner of the game. I know I can always get three full hands out of a deck, so I'm going to shuffle once and then play three times, and then I can shuffle after that. To start the game, I'm going to give four cards to the wolf and four cards to myself. Now, there's several different kinds of attacks that I can make, uh, each of which will take cards, using use cards from both hands and eliminate them. And each one of those puts a new card into play, sometimes on the wolf side, sometimes on my side. One of the important things is I can always see the top card of the deck. So if I just I can decide between different kinds of attacks where this card goes, sometimes it's okay to give it to the wolf. Sometimes I want to keep it myself. So here's the attacks. The absolute best kind of attack is a match or a perfect. That's where I take a card from my hand that matches exactly a card from the wolf's hand. When I do that, they both go away and I get the next card on the deck. Only slightly worse than that is called a sum, and that's where I add up several of my cards to equal one of the wolf's cards. So I could do eight plus one equals nine, and that gets me the next card on the deck also. The only reason I say it's worse than a perfect is that I'm losing more cards when I do that. Uh, I, I don't have four cards anymore. I only have three. So let's see. Eight plus one is nine is my sum. The next kind of attack is a sweep, where I use one of my cards to pick up several of the wolf's cards. So if I had a seven, I could pick up six and one. And if I do that, the wolf gets the next card. So it's not as good as the other attacks. And the finally, the worst kind of attack is an over, where I take one of my cards that's greater than one of the wolf's cards, take those out. But in that case, the wolf draws cards equal to the difference. So if I did eight take six, the wolf would get two cards. He would get this two and he would get whatever is next. Uh, so I will only do that when I'm really feeling desperate. And I also have the option to fold. It might be safer. It's often safer for me to fold than to just give the wolf a bunch of cards. The wolf's final score is going to be the point value of all the cards in their hand. And so I, uh, uh, it would be risky. The two is small, but who knows what's next. So how am I going to attack this? I want to get out clean, so I want to save my perfect plays until the end, and I have a couple of those. I have three takes three, and I have one takes one. Uh, I even have eight and one takes nine, so that's a pretty good set of attacks. Let's start by taking out the nine. That gets me this two, and we'll see where we are then. Now I have another nine. If the nine were in my hand, it would be worth nine points if I finish with it, which is great. Um, I could also use it to sweep the six and the three. And knowing that, knowing that that's an option I want to keep, I'm going to do the one takes the one. So when I do a perfect attack, I get the next card on the deck. Let's see what's below that. That's a six. So oh, that's pretty tempting. So now three takes three. That gets me the six in my hand. This is the next card on the deck, a seven. Six takes six, and that kills the wolf, and I get the seven. So I get all these cards. Uh, 9 and 2 and 7, I get 18 points as my score for winning that game. Let's try another hand. I have three tens, which is not great, actually. They're hard to use. They are certainly worth a lot of points, though. Here's my perfect. 7 takes 7. I'm going to save that until the end, and I'm going to see what else I have going on. Uh, boy, I guess I pretty much have to do 10 sweeps, 2 fives. If I do that, the wolf is going to get this four, but I have at least reduced their score. The next card is another seven. That doesn't actually help me very much. There's not much I can do with this ten. None of these numbers add up to ten. Uh, if I do seven take seven, I'll get the seven and I'll be right where I am. And I think that's actually how I'm going to have to win this hand. So 
or not win, but lose with the least loss. Seven takes seven, giving me this seven. And that leaves nine points on the wolf. I won't even turn this over because I know I'm not going to go any farther. Um, well, let's see what's there. Okay, it's a five. Nope, that's no good. Uh, so I'm going to fold. I'm going to give the wolf nine points. That goes against the 18 that I had before. Uh, I mean, we're, we're keeping score on separate ledgers. And I think that's as low as I can get the wolf without making things worse for myself. Well, let's see what would happen if I took a shot. Uh, if I did seven takes four, I would give the wolf this five and two more cards. I have no idea what they are, but I know the 10 can take two of the fives. So let's see what happens. Uh, seven takes four. The difference is three. That means the wolf gets three cards. One, two, three. Huh, that's not great. The next card on the deck is an eight. Uh, so if I do 10 takes nine, that's an over. It's going to give the wolf an eight. Uh, if I then do, ooh, 10 takes five and five, that's a sweep and it gives the wolf another eight. And hey, I'm out of cards. So the wolf is now uh, sitting on 22 points, which is way worse than the nine I gave him. All right, we'll play a third hand out of this pack. I dealt uh, back and forth instead of four and four. It, r it really doesn't matter as long as you don't look at the card before you decide where it goes. Just get eight cards out there. They are all shuffled until they come off the deck. The next card in the deck is a two. I would like to have the two in my hand, but I'm not sure there's a way I can do it. Yeah, okay, so four could take four and give me the two. That's not terrible. So four takes four and gives me the two. Now there's a four on top of the deck. I don't see an exit strategy yet, but I can do two takes two, and that gives me the four. And I know that four can take three and one. This is called looking for the cheapest way to die. This is a safe way to end this game. If I do four takes three and one, and I give the one to the wolf, and then say, I'm done, wolf, take one point and be happy. That's the safe way to go out. And I'm still ahead with my opening score. But uh, there is a more dangerous way to go about this as well. I could do five takes three and see what's behind this one and hope that the cards I have left can sweep what's there. I don't know if that's gonna be a, a, a winner, but this is, this is a mistake. This is a terrible idea. I should let the wolf win for one, but here we go. Three takes five. That's one, that's the other one. Uh, that didn't really help me very much. What's next? I can do four takes four and the wolf gets a two. Uh, and I'm done and the wolf wins with three instead. So that's that. Let's go through another round. Despite my success in this demo, it is actually pretty hard to beat the wolf with a full deck. And so you can make the game easier by taking out high ranking cards. You go from hard mode to normal mode by taking out the tens, and you go to easy mode by taking out the nines and the tens. Basically, when you have fewer different ranks, you have more ways for the cards to match up. Uh, let's play another game on hard mode. All right, I have six, seven, eight, nine. The wolf has five, five, three, one. What can I do with all that? I don't see even how I get out yet. Oh, well, here's my card. That's my out. If I can do five takes five, I can get out. So I want to get the five into my hand, although I'm not sure how to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't have a way to do that right now. Okay, well, three and five and one is nine. Let's do that. Nine sweeps, three and five and one. That puts the five in the wolf's hand and gives me this two. Well, if I do six takes five, that'll put the two in the wolf's hand and give me this four. Still not much going on here. If the seven sweeps the five and the two, the wolf gets the four, and I think that's as good as it gets. So I'm gonna have to let the wolf score four points this round. I'm gonna put the wolf score right here, and then I'll just know what the, what the wolf score is. Uh, if you have a card on top of the deck, you need to ditch that. You can't just deal it into the next hand because you've already seen it. I definitely see an out here. I can, I can, oh, I see seven takes seven and nine takes nine. So those are my outs. Now, how do I make some good out of the rest of this? I kind of can't. What's our, what's my top card? An eight. Well, I know four and four makes eight. Not a lot of good options here. Okay. I don't want to give the wolf eight points. And so I'm going to begin with seven takes seven. That gives me the eight and we'll see what happens next. There's a 10. That's even worse. Um... 
If I do 9, takes 2, and 7, I give the wolf a 10. The wolf has 19 points, and I've got no way to take any of it. If I do 9, takes 9, I have a 10, and I guess we can see what's next on the deck. A 1 is next on the deck. That's not terrible. If I do 8, takes 7, then the wolf gets that 1. Um, I don't like what happens next, though. I think 3 points is as low as I can get the wolf. If I do 4 takes 2, I'm putting up the 1 and something else, and there's no telling what's going to happen after that. So I'm going to fold and let the wolf have 3 more points. All right, this has got to have an out. So let's see. There's a 2 taking a 2. Um, the 6 can take 3 and 3. Let's do that. I may be missing moves here. I am just demoing off the cuff. The 6 takes the 3 and the 3, but a sweep means the wolf gets that 2. Now there's a 10, and I don't mind giving that 10 to the wolf. So the 4 takes 2 and 2. That's another sweep and puts the 10 on top. And there it is. I got lucky. 10 takes 10 and gives me that 5. And that means 5 can take 5, and I've got 3 points. I win with 3 points. Now what does that mean finally? The wolf got these 7, I got these 3. So for that round of 3, the wolf actually beat me by 4 points. Again, for a full game, we would keep score to 100 points, and that's how you play the wolf. Thanks for watching, and thanks for playing all the Crab Fragment games. I'm James Ernest, and I'll see you at the table. Crab Fragment Labs is basically my personal playground. I started this up to do what I love doing, which is to make games, and honestly, I am sick of trying to sell them, so I'm giving them away for free. Almost everything at Crab Fragment Labs is completely free. Games, articles, short fiction, lectures, videos, everything I do, uh, more or less, but I uh, still have to pay rent in my life. And so if you would like to help out, if you like what I'm doing here at Crab Fragment, please join us on Patreon. Give us $5 a month, become a hermit crab, and help us support what we're doing at Crab Fragment Labs. Thanks so much, and I will see you at the table.